Hey, it's Kendrick with Channel Logic Interpreters, and today I'm going to show you 10 Windows command that you need to know if you're working in cybersecurity or if, if you're trying to get a job in cybersecurity. So let's get started. I cannot tell you the number of times that I've seen people in this field not know how to navigate, and I'm walking through like, like cybersecurity professionals through doing basic stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to type CMD here to open up a command prompt. I'm going to launch that. And this is what you really need to embrace is you've got to be able to navigate around this because I'm doing it on the machine. Sometimes you're going to be running these commands remotely, which means that you're going to have to send these commands to another machine. The first one is directory, DIR, directory. It basically lists the files and contents of the current folder where you currently or directory. You can use those almost interchangeably, but the folder or directory that you're currently in. So for me, I'm going to change to the desktop to change directory, which is the command CD. And I'm gonna to go to desktop and you can see it right there is number two on our list. And I'm gonna press the tab key because most people don't know that you can, if there's only one folder matching a term or something within Windows, you can just press the tab key. It automatically will complete the rest of it. And then I can type directory again. Okay, great. So now you know the directory command, the CD command, but what if I wanna to go to the previous folder I was in? You can use the CD, and this is a variation. I know you can say, well, CD is one command, and CD dot dot, and CD, I'll give you the other command in a second, but I consider them several commands. So CD dot dot, that actually takes you back one directory or up one directory to, from where you were. So now we're back in the user's directory. So now we're gonna type CD, once again, desktop, and tab, and press enter. But what if I wanna go all the way up to the top of the entire folder, like to the main folder, the hard drive? You can type CD space backslash, and that takes you all the way. So you see, we literally went all the way back to the beginning of that, okay? And so now that we're there, we can also use what's called wildcards to get back. So I'm gonna do CD USE asterisk backslash USE. Looks like we got back, back, uh, backslash at the end. And I went to folders. I didn't have to type the whole thing. And if I want to type, go to back to desktop, C E D E S K asterisk. And look at there. I'm at. So this is like really like significant time saving stuff. But then also, what if I want to make a directory? I want to make a new folder on my desktop, which you're seeing right here. Like, look here. There's no folder there. So M K D I R. Hello. And we now have a hello folder here on our desktop. So how do we get into that folder? We type CD hello or CD hell, that, that works, okay. So now we're there, but what if we wanna remove the file? Well, first of all, I wanna put a file in this folder. Now I can double click on a folder and I can just right click here. I'll show you something though. This is actually not what part of the tutorial, but I can create a text document here and just say doc. And it's gonna be, it doesn't show the extension cause you can show the extension, but it's doc.txt, okay? So that's one way to do it. Or I can use a new command that I want you to know, which is called the echo. I'm gonna say echo, hello. And all it does is in a command prompt, it basically echoes everything I say. I can also say hello, everyone. And I can get rid of the double quotes right there. And I can say that, and it says hello, everyone. I can also use the echo command. I can use the greater than sign. And I can say, I made, I might have to put quotes around this. I'm gonna put quotes around it just in case. I made this file with command line dot txt. And if I do that, let's see what happens. If I double click on the folder here, look inside it, I made this file with command line dot txt. So now you know how to make files. So any command that you run, you can use the space greater than sign or just about, there may be some exceptions. And whatever you put in, something .txt or whatever you want to call the file extension, which is the last part of it, the dot something, you can make that. But okay, so now I made this folder. What if I want to get rid of this folder? So let's go to cd dot dot to go up a level. Go to site directory and there's the folder. So I want to do use a new command called rmdr, remove directory. Hello, it's going to error out here because it's going to say, hey, it's not empty. So how do I get rid of it? Because I can go here and I can do it and I can delete the files manually, but we're using command lines, so we don't wanna do that. So we wanna do this even cooler way, which is gonna say use a, a forward slash S and it's not case sensitive. And then, uh, hello. And once again, we can tab it out 
and look at that it says hey are you sure you want to delete this directory and all the files that are in it i'm going to say yes i do and guess what you should see boom it disappeared on the desktop it is gone okay so now you got that so let's go back and let's just make a file so let's just say echo now that you know it delete this file dot text okay i'm going to say echo i'm going to say something which is going to be what's inside it and then i'm going to greater than sign and i'm going to output this to a file called delete this file oh whoa 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 oh wait sorry i didn't finish the other command so let's say yes let's finish deleting everything okay now that we do echo something delete this file dot text all right i just created a new file called delete this file dot text that's on the desktop so how do i delete this file well you can use the del command de 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 <laughs> wow okay delete del space del delete this file this dot text and i press enter file disappears so there's the de delete command and then one thing that when you're getting more advanced this is really going to help you like significantly more because you really do need to know who you're operating is so maybe you connect to the machine a lot of times you, you especially use this kind of stuff in hacking or our red teaming and stuff like that but you need to know the command who am i you press that that's going to tell you the user that you're currently logged in and running in and you see that i have this as nested scanner because i got some tutorials i'm working on for the future so yo i hope this has been helpful drop a like on the video if this had if this has helped you and anyway and i'm going to keep on building on these because once again i'm teaching you the skills you need to actually do the job in cybersecurity, the comp tias and all those things they're okay but a lot of a lot of the boot camps and things out there are predatory so if you want to learn the truth and how to do like the stuff i actually use as a cyber security professional subscribe to the channel and i'm looking for people who are willing to take the time spend the energy to learn and people who are not just looking for a quick thing because this is not a quick get into type of job you will not be successful some of you might but most of you will not if you do not take the time do the grind and earn the skills that you need to be successful thanks for watching